stop electric vehicle builders. If you're like me, you like building and riding electric skateboards. My favorite are all-terrain boards. One thing with all-terrain boards though, they can get pretty expensive to build and that's a turn off for a lot of people. So today's video is on how to make a budget electric all-terrain board. I'm gonna start with this box. It's a economy mountain board I got from Amazon. Let's uh, take a look inside. And here's what's inside of the box. 8 inch or 200 millimeter by 50 millimeter or 8 by 2 wheel. Assembled deck and trucks and push traps. That's about it. So step one of this build, I'm gonna see if I can mount to the trucks uh, engine mounts or motor mounts and see how smooth that process is going to be or how not smooth. Let's check it out. One of the things you'll need for a conversion is a wheel pulley and this is a 72 tooth pulley that I 3D printed that I'll be using on this budget all-terrain board build. And that pulley just goes right in and locks in the, with the wheel. You need a distance of 38 millimeters and this is the face of the motor mount. This is where it's going to go. Then you have 170 millimeter of space, which gives you plenty of room for dual motor setup. And then how I arrived at 38 millimeters is I put the wheel on all the way and put the pulley on and secured it to the wheel and marked it on there. So that's what we're gonna go for and start the conversion. The mounting hole for your motor mount in the instance of this setup is it's 19 millimeters or in America it's three quarter inch and I need to get this prepped for motor mount which means shaving up some of that reinforced structure here or reinforcement structure here 38 millimeters that's only to the face of the motor mount you gotta go past that when you shave off aluminum from this truck about 10 more millimeters so 38 plus 10, 48 millimeters from here to here, 48 millimeters on both sides. Well, there we have it. Shaved off truck ready for the motor mount. This is the piece of aluminum that it's gonna be the motor mount here in a little bit. Here's my marking for cutting. It's kind of convoluted, but the goal is to make it look similar to this. And that's what I use as a template. Next step on motor mounts, I need to create an opening for the motor shaft and I hope to do so with a half inch drill bit and half inch router head and using this router. Let's see if this works out.
check it out. Next, we're gonna make a channel for the motor screws to be threaded through. This is a jig I'm going to use to line up my screws for the motor and my bracket. Let's see if it works out. Today we're gonna work on getting this nicely lined up, putting a crossbar on it, giving it giving it more lateral stability and attaching the pulleys to the drive wheels. This hasn't been processed yet, so we need to get these guys ready to go onto the wheel. Motor mounts have been fitted to the truck, let's make them permanent. To get this aluminum motor mount onto the aluminum truck, I'm going to use the process called brazing. I'm going to heat up the aluminum and use the brazing rod to make our welds. <laughs> 